uh, you, you mentioned a lot about um, your work in the US. Everybody knows that. Do you feel that um, how Bato Baile, you know, uh, to the US, they remain as relevant? Mohai. You know, I see a lot of musicians like Bo Lucky Dube, they complained about, or uh, Black Mambazo complained about, having been overseas, coming back home, they are no longer as recognized or as known as uh, they would wish to be, or rather compared to being in the US or the US market, how it sees them. Um, what are your thoughts around that subject? It's a painful experience, but then depends on how you look at it as an individual, so I can only speak on my behalf. Mm. I am familiar with that in the most general. Mm. Né? If, for example, Lady Smith Black Mambazo mm. can't fill up a church of 200 people here to perform, but they can get on an airplane and fill up uh, Wembley Stadium, for example, or or anything of that sort. I don't think necessarily it has anything to do with the public. No? I think it has everything to do with the nature and the design of the environment we operate from in business. Mm -hmm. no? the, the way the record and performing business was set up in South Africa, truly speaking, it was not set up to accommodate African content. Mm. <laughs> ne True. Never. It was never set up. It's a halfway station yeah. for e the even, Western yeah, industry. Yeah, even as a business, even today, sure. I, I don't see it the same as when I get on a plane to go work in Australia and somewhere yeah. else. I've long had that mindset that in Kilospan. Yeah, sure. You know, I have a different responsibility, and my responsibility is to build with you and change the future. I got you, brother.